Hello and happy Easter Day. There is a whole lot going on here at our address, but I wanted to take a moment and get my sweet peas and my peas ready so that I can plant them tomorrow. I thought I'd share this with you because I want to be able to use these seed packets and the glue was way down on the top. So I wanted to show you that I'm cutting directly across the top where the little banner is oh and this is a feather that tom just brought me and so yeah a white feather on easter day so there's my peas and i'm going to do the same thing and cut around that banner it made it easier to get the peas out of the seed packet and look at they're going to be perfect for journaling my garden as well as i will be using these in my april all about that base journal so yes I've put my peas into water and I'll be soaking them overnight so this is my garden journal and I've decided to use the garden journal that I made last year during the January just junk journal challenge I'll put it in the description box down below the playlist um, but I used this last year and I've been gathering all my items for this year in there some of the things didn't get a place yet, but you can see there's where I plotted my garden and notes and things that I had about my garden. Now the biggest note I don't have in here is that there was a fire here in our area that made it so bad I couldn't be outside and that's when my garden ended. So this is the center of one of the signatures and I'm gonna go ahead and start my 2021 journaling here on this beautiful picture of the bird and I'm just going to go ahead and washi tape my seed packet in so I still have the information I can still see the information I'm using this large washi tape that I've had for several years and just going to add that in And I'm going to do the same thing for the sweet pea packet and put it on the other side and just put it down there. I love that we can still see the bird. We can still see the sweet pea information. And I think that it's a wonderful way to start my 2021 garden. So these were given to me in Happy Mail. And I think that this is going to be the perfect place to put the first garden log. So I'm going to put it right up there on that, that page at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these little banner stickers. And that will give me a place on the seed packet to write down the date that they were planted. We'll come back to these in a minute. Um, I also have in from the spring flower digital collection the ad page and it has an ad an antique ad from a magazine for sweet peas it actually has two of them but I'm going to use this one right here so I'm going to cut this off I just thought it would be fun to have this in here so also from some happy mail I have this sticker and I thought I could use this as writing space underneath the P seed packet. So I've cut it in half. I folded it and cut it in half and added those pieces in there and that's going to give me a place to keep track of the peas as they're growing. I'm also going to add this Hello Sunshine washi tape right here and that will help keep this seed packet in the journal. So I found a place to add the antique ad and I'm going to put the Hello Sunshine washi there just holding it in. And now I have a cut apart from one of the stacks, um, the hot buy stacks, and I'm just going to cut that piece out and that's going to give me a journaling card that I can put inside the sweet pea packet. I'm going to cut this other piece out and that will give me one for the sugar snap peas. It's a little snug there so I'm going to cut a little bit off the edge 
on both sides so it's kind of even and then put that in there and so I have a journaling card for each of those places and now we're gonna get back to those little banners and I have these stickers that also came in happy mail and there's one with a cute little shovel and I thought that that would be really cute cute to put on there where I'm going to put the date of where these packets were planted. And now it looks like we're going to add a tab to our sweet pea journaling card. And I'm going to add that with some scotch tape. That works. We're going to put it right inside there and we have a journaling card for sweet peas that we can get to. We can still read the back of the packet. I love it. So next I have this index card. Um, looks like Chip might have had it. And so I'm going to go ahead and fold it and then I'm going to fold another crease into it, turning it into a flip flop. And we'll be putting that in here as soon as I get some glue. So next I have from those patch patches that I used in the seven days of spring journal. I, there was one for sweet peas and I'm going to go ahead and add that to the top of the journaling card for the sugar snap peas. And I'm going to use my stapler to put that on there. And that just fits right inside there. And I love all of the textures and the fun things that we have going on here. So next I have this yellow tab and I want to put the year 2021 and as this is where I'm going to start recording 2021 in this journal this will make it easy for me to find it so I have some alphabet stickers that I have used they might have been given to me I don't remember but they do have the two twos, the zero and the one that I need to put 2021. And then I'm going to attach that to the outside of the page. So before we get a quick look at what we have for this page, I'm going to go ahead and glue that flip flop index card right in there underneath the sweet pea packet. And that's going to give me a place to keep track of my sweet peas. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting a note about where the seeds came from and when I bought them. That can end up being kind of important. I love to do the line with the heart, separating my notes. The next note is gonna say that I soaked the seeds and the date. Then I'll repeat for the pea seeds also. And now I'll make the appropriate notes on the gardening log. So fun. So there it is, my first garden log entry in my garden journal for 2021. So let me know if you like this idea there's my garden journal again that was made during the January just junk journal challenge back in 2020 and I love it it has been an amazing journal and I am looking forward to using it again this year have an amazing day and find something to celebrate every day don't forget to plant something I'll see you tomorrow bye